and welcome to Mr. S Math Class. But before we start, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow Mr. S Math Class. Let's have fun in math with Mr. S. Our lesson for today is on multiplying fractions. Now let's have a proper fraction multiplied to another proper fraction. Let's have this first example. One half times three fourths. One half times three fourths can be changed to a statement one half of three fourths. It's more easy this time. One half of three fourths. And to help us solve the problem, let's have this one. This represents one whole. Could be one whole pizza, one whole cake, one whole um, block of wood. Now let's have this to represent as our one whole. Now, of course, we're not using this one whole. We're only going to use three-fourths of it because we're going to find one-half of three-fourths. So let's get three-fourths of this whole. So to get three-fourths of this whole, we'll divide this whole into four equal parts. We have one part, another part, another part, and another part. So we have four equal parts. We call this a fourth, another fourth, another fourth, and another fourth. And so, since we need three fourths, we'll get three out of the four. So we'll cut it. Slowly. So we don't need this. This is the fourth that we don't need. This one is the three fourths that we need to work on. Now we have to get one half of this three fourths. So one half of this three fourths it's somewhere here. Somewhere in the middle of this portion. So let's put the marking. And this is now the one half of the three fourths. Okay. Let's try to cut them. Okay. And so, this is now our one half of the three fourths. But the question is, what part of the whole is this? What part of the entire whole is this portion? Hmm. To do that, we have to make sure that all parts are equal. Since we're dealing with fraction, we're dealing with equal parts. Again, we're dealing with equal parts. So since we slice the middle part into half, let's slice the other half, the other part into half as well. Okay. This one and this one too. It's just like cooking, right? <laughs> so now we have small equal parts. Behave. We have small equal parts. So one half of our whole is, or one half of the three fourths is this portion, right? But what part of the entire whole is this? Okay, we have this already, but take note, we have one-fourth we didn't slice yet. So we have to slice this one-fourth similar to how we slice the other one. Okay. Good. So we now have how many equal parts are there in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight equal parts. Take note that this is the fourth that we didn't use. And this is the three fourths. What is one half of this three fourths? So, what is one half of this three fourths? We have this portion. Okay, and what part is this of the entire whole? This is three out of 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is three out of the eight equal parts. So in other words, this is three eighths of the entire whole. And so one half of three fourths is three eighths. Or one half times three fourths is three eighths. Well, now let's multiply one half times three fourths using the model method though it was already presented in the previous explanation but this time we'll purely use the model method in explaining one half times three fourths so one half times three fourths let's change this to a statement one half of three fourths so let's say i have one whole and I'm using a rectangular hole. Okay. But of this one hole, I'll only use three-fourths. Okay. Because the statement is one-half of three-fourths. So for three-fourths, let's divide the whole into four equal parts. And if we have four equal parts, three-fourths of that one whole is equivalent to three equal parts, which is this one this shaded part this is the three-fourths now let's get half of that three-fourths so half of that three-fourths is somewhere here so looking at the model now the middle part of the three parts is actually divided into two equal parts so since we're dealing with fractions we have to make each part equal or all parts equal so let's divide this part into two equal parts as well this one and though let's though we're not using this part the last part we are still going to divide it okay now in other words our one whole now is divided into eight equal parts so one half of that three fourths is actually this portion this one i'll shade it again with red and there are three equal parts shaded now the question is what part of the entire whole is shaded with red or we can simplify it to what part of the entire whole is that one half of the three fourths? So this one is three out of eight equal parts. Well, that would simply mean that this part is three over eight or three eighths. Got it? So that's how we s multiply using the model method. Now let's try multiplying it in the um, now let's try multiplying it in the algorithm way. So let's have this as our method three. This one is our method two. So method three algorithm one half times three fourths. It is just the same as multiplying the numerator one and three then multiplying the denominator 2 and 4. And so we have 1 times 3, 3, and 2 times 4, 8. And so we have the same result as method 2. Now, some of you might say that, Ah, uh, sir, it's easier in method 3 than in method 2. It's longer. Yes, you're, that's correct. However, method 2 and method 1 using an actual object is actually more concept-based. So it's more conceptual. So when we attack problem solving in the future, it's easier to analyze the problem because we are already trained on how to understand multiplying fractions in a conceptual way.